Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Crockett falls in love, again, with a person he's tasked with protecting in the episode Like a Hurricane. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from November 16th to November 22nd, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 22nd, a television signal hijacking took over two Chicago TV stations in a period of three hours. The signal intrusion included a video of a man wearing a Max Headroom mask, ramblings about WGN, and his bare buttocks being spanked by a fly swatter. The hijacking is still a mystery as no one associated with the event has ever been caught. In music, just when you thought you heard the last of Tommy James and the Shondells, Billy Idol's cover of Money Money replaces Tiffany's cover of a Tommy James song on the Hot 100. Originally covered by Idol in 1981 on the album Don't Stop, the song saw a resurgence in 1987 when the live version was released on the album Vital Idol. It would only spend one week at number one, but is still one of Idol's best. In movies, okay, we finally made it past Fatal Attraction and on to a much better movie, Come At Me. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Conchita Alonso is the dystopian sci-fi classic The Running Man. Based on the Stephen King book of the same name and directed by Paul Michael Glazer, the film follows a man framed by the government and forced to compete in a killer game show. Set sometime between 2017 and 2019, this film is an example of the America we deserve in 2018. But I hope you leave enough room for my fist. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.